uh, when I was younger, I always said, my wife has to have a big ass booty. That, that's it, you know what I'm saying? But then as I got older, I said, no, nah, you know, I don't want my wife to have a, a too big ass, you know, because I'm not able to have a daughter with her. You know, I don't want my daughter running around here in Miami on Memorial Day weekend with no big ass booty. <laughs> Like her mama, I don't want that for my family. You know what I'm saying? And I thought a little bit hard on it too, you know? Shit, I don't want my daughter being born no big ass booty. And I damn sure don't want my motherfucking son <laughs> being born with no big ass booty. I don't want that for my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, my son can be no thug or nothing. The shit wouldn't sound right. People be running up like, hey man, you heard about uh, James? He killed seven people down on uh, Martin Luther King. People be like, J James, shit, this for about four people named James. Which James you talking about? He be like, man, sh big booty James, man. <laughs> Motherfucker sprayed everybody. All the mothers in the house make some noise. If you got kids, make some noise. Every day is Mother's Day, so I shout y'all out every time I'm on stage. Every day is Mother's Day. I like to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the house. And even the women that didn't clap, even if you ain't got no kids, but you got a Mother's Day stomach, still. <laughs> give it up for yourself. Because, <laughs> men, we know it's hard for women having babies. Don't we know it's hard? You know what I'm saying? I think every woman's wish would be that, the men, that men, we could be the ones that had a baby for the rest of this year. How many of y'all wish that on us if y'all could? That's why I said, I, I knew y'all were going to do that. I knew y'all were going to do that. And I said that to say, if the rules change, like, man, that should be fucked up on our end because the, the, the whole call scenario will change. Instead of us getting that, them getting that call, we get that call now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they pick it up. Hello, you be like, hey, can I speak to Tawana? Uh, yeah, this her. Who is this? Hey, hey, Tawana, um, this, this, this is James. Uh, okay, uh, James, and what's going on? I'm, nothing. I'm sitting down here on this parking lot at uh, Planned Parenthood, and um, the lady on the inside or whatever just let me know I'm, I'm pregnant. You, you said you pregnant. By, by who, James? <laughs> she, by, by you, Tawana. She, okay, but she hang the phone up right there because you know she got to get off the phone. She ain't ready for all that pressure, you know? And you know a homegirl in the room with a girl. Who was that that just called her? Girl, that was James calling her talking about I got in pregnant. James, you talking about Dusty James? <laughs> Girl, no. Which James? Bitch, big booty James. He's sitting up here to... Women are smarter than men. I'm not just saying it because you're here, ladies. I'm saying it because I watched it from Genesis. I got nine-year-old twin daughters. I watched them grow up. I realized things like women start thinking from the time they get on the planet. Little girls got plans. That's why you can talk to a four-year-old little girl, get a real conversation. Hey, little girl, how was your day? Well, it was sunny, it was hot, I got some gelato, and it was a great day. <laughs> Talk to a four-year-old little boy. Not so much. You'd be like, hey, little boy, how was your day? <laughs> ah, ah, this motherfucker only had no airplane, just ah, dumb as a fucking rock. <laughs> I know. I love my daughters to death, but you realize when you got little girls, they're just a little bit smarter. And any parent in here know what I'm talking about. You talk to your kids enough, you'll get your feelings hurt. I decided to share it with my daughters one day because we go out to eat a lot. I take them out to eat all the time. And not because daddy can't cook. I take them out to eat because I don't want them to be impressed by that shit as they get older. It's going to take a little bit more than Red Lobster to get them in bed. They've been there. So it's a system, you know what I'm saying? So I take them out to eat, and we out to dinner one day, and I decide to share. I said, ladies, do you know what daddy does for a living? They was like, no. I was like, I'm a comedian. At nine years old, they didn't know what a comedian was. I was like, okay, I stand on stage, I tell jokes, people laugh, they give me money, come home, feed you, pay the bills with it. My daughter, Sunaya, she's older by four minutes. She looked me in my face, she's like, Daddy, I saw you on TV before. I was all proud, swole up like a man would be, like, yeah, I was on TV a couple times, baby. My daughter, Toure, who's named after me, looked me dead in my face, she's like, so you like a fucking clown. I was like, I ain't no goddamn clown, watch your mouth. But you know, she nine, she outside all proud, like, my daddy a clown. My daddy a clown. I was like, I ain't no fucking clown. <laughs> One of her little girlfriends was like, well, can he do my birthday party? Get this bitch out of here. <laughs>